Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a randomly generated city using the Blender Game Engine's logic bricks. So this can be used for other techniques, but today we're going to be making a CD, so let's get into it and let's learn. So we want to start off by making our level element. So I'm going to delete this cube and we're going to be creating some buildings since this is going to be a randomly generated city. So I'm going to start off by adding a plane and I'm just going to go X, delete only faces. And then I'm going to grab all of these and then I'm going to extrude and then scale in and extrude up and then fill then we're going to come to shading and UVs, fill up direction and now we have our first building so I'm going to duplicate this holding control, move it across so it's just right next to it fits perfectly and I'm going to change this building up a little bit so let's make a I don't know two story building or something maybe a little bit higher and then I'm going to duplicate this across and we're going to make a very short building some kind of warehouse with storage or some store All right and then I'm going to duplicate this once more and we're going to have four buildings for it to randomly back from for this tutorial so I think it'll do this little shot with like a car buck or something on the front I think we'll do I'm just going to go both of these and then I'm going to move them to a layer below so I'm going to make sure that this layer is just empty and just has the camera and the lamp right so we want to set up the logic now and we want to add in an empty cube and we also need to do one more thing with the buildings we need to name them so I'm going to call this first one one and the second one two and the third one three and the fourth one four this is going to help us finding them later on in the logic right so now we have our empty which is a cube empty as you can see right here just cube display cube and it's one size All right so we're going to change this from Blender render to Blender game, and also change this from default to Game Logic. Okay. So now we can get into the logic. So we want this to randomly pick from um, one out of four. So we want it to pick one, two, three, or four. So the way we're going to set that up is we're going to add a keyboard sensor and this is going to be a space and this is just for testing we'll get rid of this in just a second and we're going to add a random right here random set actuator sorry and we're going to connect this up make sure we have this selected of course we're going to connect this up by clicking that right there and we want to set this up so we want to add a property it to randomize so I'm going to come here and add game property and this is going to be an integer and we can leave it the name prop so we want to change this to int uniform right here and click on that and it's going to give us three things we need to change so we need to change the property and find the property we want to randomize so this is the property we want to randomize so that's what I'm going to put there and then we also have these two values so it's going to be in between and also the numbers that these are so if I was to set this to 1 and this one to 4 it's going to pick 1, 2, 3 or 4 so if we were to make this show up in our little display thing here by coming here we're going to display debug properties and then making this one display in it by clicking this button and as you can see when I press space we get a random number so, as you can see, we get a totally random number. You could change this to like 5, let's say we change this to 500. You're going to get an absolutely totally random number each time. All right, but I only want it to pick out of 4. If you had more level assets, you might change it up to 10 or 20 or whatever. So now that we've got that set up, we also want to delete that keyboard sensor and add an always. And then connect this up. 
to know when we play the game. It just picks a number for us, right? So now I'm going to maximize this view and I'm going to show you how to add in the buildings. So I'm going to add in a property sensor and this is going to be a property is equal to one. And then we will send a signal to edit object. We're going to add an object. We're going to add one. I'm going to connect this up and then connect this up and this up. Now we want to do that three more times for our objects. So you're just going to add three more of these in. And we want to change this to two, three, oop, two, three, four. We want property, oop, property, and then property. So now if we get one, two, if we get any of those numbers, it's going to send an, an output to something. So we're going to do the exactly the same as we did over here as well. We're just going to change the numbers. So it's going to be object, edit, object, edit, object. And this is going to be two, three, and four. Close these. And then connect this up. And once we connected all of these up, you will see that we will have if I, a random building. So as you can see, we have a random building each time. So if you want to create a whole city, what you want to do is come over here, and it, where you see this little um, magnet, you want to click this, and you also want to leave this on, because it's going to increment, so it's going to snap it to the grid, basically. So if I go to top view, as you can see, if I move it around, I'm not holding control or anything, it's snapping to the grid. So if I duplicate this, move it across, duplicate it, move it across, then grab these, and duplicate it, move it across, then duplicate, move it across, duplicate, move it across, and then I select all of these again, and once more, as you can see, you can duplicate this and then move it backwards. So now, you'll see if I press play, that we have a randomly generated city. And if you wanted this to look a bit better, then you might want to add more types of buildings and also make them more high poly and nicer. But that is the gist of it and how to do it. If you have any questions about this tutorial or ideas for upcoming tutorials, comment them down below and I'll reply as soon as possible. And also subscribe because I come out with a new tutorial every single Friday.